As somebody that went to Lamar, went to Rice, you're so Houston, you're so local. What's it like to win a World Series in your hometown? A lot of people would say the turning point was possibly the decision to kick that field goal. After the game, head coach David Coley said the thought process behind that was that he wanted to make it a two-score game, and it just didn't work out. Either way, the Texans letting the Patriots come back from a 13-point deficit comes down to penalties and silly mistakes. It's the Astros postgame show presented by Whataburger. Astros getting a 9-4 win in large part thanks to that Jose Altuve three-run bomb. Love when we have Jose Altuve smiling after an <laughs> Astros win. I'm Vanessa Richardson. That man right there is Mike Stanton, a much-needed win for the Astros. Confidence never wavered after Tampa. Why was that? What was it like? I mean, look, you, Joe Burrow gives you so much credit for really changing his career and really elevating his game. What was it like to, you know, obviously wasn't the result that you would have wanted, but what was it like to see him playing on that big stage? Pitching has been an issue for this Astros team all year. The bullpen has been its Achilles heel. So we knew for this game one that they would need to get the bats going, and they did just that, thanks to two fan favorites, Jose Altuve and Carlos Correa. Between Altuve and Correa, the Astros, plain and simple, got it done in game one. We've kind of laughed about the cold, but it actually is a huge storyline. And you just mentioned you're from Brazil, so you're not used to this cold of weather. How does this affect you as a driver? Huge. And I'll give you one guess as to what our Whataburger water play is. No shock here. It is Jose Altuve in the eighth inning, a three-run bomb. All right, a couple weeks ago, Troy Aikman said that he thinks that this is Carson Wentz's last chance with the Washington Commanders. Wentz then responded basically saying that he doesn't feel any pressure. Are the Commanders confident in Carson Wentz? Ron Rivera says yes, very much so. Well, it's widely regarded as one of the most lopsided trades in NFL history. One year ago today, DeAndre Hopkins was traded to Arizona for, as Michael Irvin put it, a ham sandwich. David Johnson and a pick all Houston got for one of the greatest to ever put on a Texans uniform. It was the beginning of a dark time for Texans fans that, quite frankly, we're still in. And today on Instagram, D-Hop marked the anniversary saying, quote, one year anniversary mood. And if that wasn't enough, J.J. Watt commented on it with a smiley face emoji. Those two, of course, teammates again. A dagger to the heart for Texans fans. All right, last question for Elio. I'm an Indiana girl, so I have to ask you. After you won your fourth Indy 500, which for those of us that were there, it was magical, unbelievable. That's a huge accomplishment. What's your next big goal? Well... Well, let's go for five, right? <laughs> Dusty Baker actually compared the friendship of Jose Altuve and Carlos Correa to that of Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. He said they're always going to be friends. They're always going to know what's going on in each other's lives and that it's a friendship that will last forever. And, of course, people loved that quote from Dusty Baker. All right, game two of the ALCS here at Minute Maid Park. The Astros pitching situation it may not be ideal, but guys like Correa step up. They get the bats going and make things happen. This lineup is deep, and I think we're in for a great series. One of the things that head coach David Coley has said that he wants this Texans team to work on is consistency. And perhaps nothing illustrates inconsistency more than the fact that the Texans were able to beat a very good Tennessee Titans team last week and then lose to the Jets this week. The Texans with a 14-3 to lead early on until 18 unanswered points by the Jets. The Jets also racked up five sacks as the Texans fall to 2-9 and on the season with this 21-14 loss. Alex Bregman said he can't even describe it. He's so heartbroken because Lance McCullers Jr. is such a competitor, and he had to work so hard to come back from Tommy John surgery a few years back. But Bregman also said this team has that next man up mentality. He is driving the number 60 Acura in the DPI class for Meyer Shank for this race. Of course, the legend, Elio Castroneves. Elio, my, Michael Shank was up here <laughs> when that wheel went off. What was going through your mind when that happened? Carlos recently met with the media about an hour ago, and he got into deep detail about how sick he really was. He said it was not COVID related, but that he had to go to the ER. He had to get two different IV 22. The Marlins with a 26 and 30 record after that win last night. From Valdez on the mound for the Astros, Braxton Garrett will start for the Marlins. Fans here to enjoy some Saturday baseball. Another hot day in Houston as this homestand continues. Welcome into Minute Maid Park. I'm Vanessa Richardson alongside Mike Stanton. And Mike, the pitching last night was a little suspect, but yeah. really the name of the game was missed opportunities. 